Okay. Hopefully this can pick me up. I don't know if I'm in frame or if it can hear me. Um, what was I thinking of? Yeah, so I've just been reading um, the Dalai Lama's The Art of Happiness book. It, it literally just had the urge today to go pick up a book and start reading. Um, you know, it's been like a couple weeks since I read a book and I just felt like, you know, I've just been wasting so much time on technology and my phone and not really taking in anything valuable or anything that's been really thought out or, you know, it's a lot of patience has been put into it. Like I'm reading a lot of fast, digestible, easy content. So, you know, I read, went to our bookshelf, which has a lot of books, but it's all about like mindfulness or the mind or persuasion or body language, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this one just stood out to me because, you know, I think everyone is always looking for happiness. Um, but yeah, it really made me think of a lot of things. The guy, like I already knew the Dalai Lama, like I've watched interviews of him, I already knew that he, he was, he, you know, he's a he's, he's really, really inspiring guy. When I was younger, obviously, before you really know anything, you kind of judge it as some just religious buffoon or whatever, like when you're really, really young and immature, but then you realise the guy's just... You know, he's, he's really taken the time to research, put in practice, and just be kind to people. And it's not like people just think he's, you know, it's easy to be him, he's just happy. But that's not what he is. He's not just happy. It's not just him being him's happy. You know, he has to work really hard. Um, and, you know, you've got a lot of inner battles all the time, I think, as a human being. And he still gets those same inner battles as anyone else, but he just sort of, you know... He um, channels it differently because he's been he's practiced his whole life how to do it. You know, he's really all the his ancestors and stuff. So you know, it was so yeah. The the thing he's saying is that happiness is the ultimate goal in life, and like obviously, there's always going to be opinions on that. It might not be. It could be. Everyone wants happiness, but a thing I was thinking of the way my mind works anyway. It's something I really battle with, is the idea, I know which things can help me become happier, or, you know, more fulfilled if I do things that require work, or selfless acts, or really, I do have to, you know, take the time for myself, write, read, be with people I love, show them I care about them, let them put their things onto me so I can sort of relay back. All these things, and obviously it's much easier than it sounds, like it's, it's hard for those things to actually do all the time. But something I have with my own personal mind is before I try anything, I think of the end result. Like I think of, so say, I sw when I picked this up and started reading it, I just instantly thought, what's the point? Or like, um, instantly thought this isn't going to make me happy. So the whole time my mind is just like, this is pointless. And it's, that's just one example, but I'm really trying to think of if, if things, because my mind is, it, it always, I always, before I start something, I think it's kind of pointless because I've already thought of the end result or like, I can't just enjoy this because say like, me reading this, I'll instantly be like, I have to tell someone that I'm reading this or, um, you know, or am I, am I happy now from reading this? You know, like those basic things, that those instant gratifications that I really think technology has played a huge role of course I could just you know that's I'm the one who decides to use it it's not like anyone forces me to go on my phone all the time or, or constantly be in like virtual world but um, it really the attention span to read something like this like I've read a fair amount today but it's it's the gratification that I always wanted from it um, that I really struggle with I'm trying to think of in other terms, so, like a job, is that the right thing? Like a job, you know, I always think, you know, I really need to get a job, I really need to get some money at the moment, but then I'm like, I'm just going to feel like how I do just now, so what's the point? And it's a very, like, stubborn, sort of, selfish, greedy mindset to have, because I live in a, I, I live in a, position in my life where I technically don't really need to work like I I want to work and I want to earn some money and I want to get some savings but 
needing to, I don't need to work because I can get by without working. And that instantly puts me in the mindset of like, who cares, other people can just slave at it and I'll just do what I want. But me doing what I want is not a good thing because you realise that the wants are not the answers to your life. They're not fulfilling you, you know. You need to go in those moments of complete uncomfortableness and those moments where your skin crawls or you just feel so just trapped within yourself or you can't help other people because those do bring like a, a snap of stillness and realisation of peace, I feel like. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to read more of this just now. It's, it's, it's good, but... The only books, the only the three past books I've read have all been about mindfulness or mindset or like The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, um, was it The Highly Effective, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, How Not to Die, you know, all those books, they're all about, you know, sort of the mind and things and, so, and like about how to put yourself in certain positions and that's good and all. But like, I feel like I think about my mind enough without reading about it, like it's a constant thing. Um, my mind is so, 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 so fast. And I, it kind of scares me reading all this stuff because, you know, I don't know. I still wonder if, I, I know that everyone has their struggles in life and everyone has issues and everyone has um, fears or everyone has uncomfortabilities in life and they everyone constantly as I said fear is like a huge thing everyone's constantly in fear of either missing out on something not doing something or being rejected but I get that I understand that that is a real thing everyone faces that all the time it doesn't matter how much of a front someone puts up but my mind is just so fast that I can't even have the, the breathing space to possibly able to process anything and even if I feel good and I do, I do, I do have times of just feeling really, really good. It's the thing of not being able to process that or take the time to even acknowledge it. It's sort of just like next, 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 and that's completely unhealthy. And I do think living in a city, I forgot what my original point was going to be of that whole little thing there, but what I've got to know is, I think that living in a city definitely doesn't help. Like I do, I I need to live in the city for my studies because I want want to keep doing my studies because that is what I feel like right now in my life is a good point you know I took three years out of school of doing nothing didn't really have any direction in life and then I came to the conclusion of actually studying might be quite good I want to study photography doing it feels right I could do it another two years quite easily quite content with that but the actual living in the city part is just not healthy at all I feel it's the most lonely place you can live to be honest because the thing about loneliness for me, I, this is this 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 topic's just going over everything now. Like I'm talking about everything, God. Yeah, the the thing about the city is, it's got the most amount of people. It's got the most amount of life. Debatable that, but like it's got the most amount of energy, um, human energy. No, it doesn't actually. Yeah, it has the most amount of people in it, but you can feel the loneliness. Like right now, there's probably fifty people in like a. A certain vicinity but I feel today I felt incredibly alone and I feel like I can't really do anything for uh, concepts of talking to people or meeting people yet I'm surrounded by people who are just human beings like me who could probably talk to them but I wouldn't really want to <laughs> and they wouldn't really want to either and this is the the issue of it really cities are an incredibly lonely place to stay and the fact there's never a breathing room even when you're home you can always feel that energy outside that people are chasing and chasing and chasing something that probably doesn't exist and it's an endless rabbit hole and it does make you question you know should you be living this sort of overly complicated life when you could really just take it back a few notches and be content with what you have that's me for just now I think I'm just going to write and do some drawing, I think I just need to relax because I'm sort of just putting a lot on my mind right now, um, yeah, I really hope that this actually recorded me because I feel like looking at my phone right now it looks like the camera's probably like literally just videoed like <laughs> just this tiny section of me, I hope that it's not the worst angle ever because 
I really, really like the side in this one. I'll put it up either way, but yeah, that's it for the. Oh yeah, what time is it? <laughs> it's uh, nine minutes to six. It's a Sunday, and it's the twenty eighth of July.